a letter agreeing to abide by Israeli restrictions if they allowed you to see your grandmother. After they approved that request, why did you change the position? I spoke to my family. And I think my grandmother said it beautifully when she said, I'm her Asfur. Asfur in Arabic means her bird. And she said, I'm her dream manifested. I am her free bird. So why would I come back and be caged and bow down when my election rose her head up high, gave her dignity for the first time? And so through tears at 3 o'clock in the morning, we all decided as a family that I could not go until I was a free American United States Congresswoman coming there, not only to see my grandmother, but to talk to Palestinian and Israeli organizations that believed that my grandmother deserved human dignity as much as anyone else does. So it is something that I, I struggled with, and I talked to Sister, Sister Alhan Omar a little bit about it. Uh, there's a piece of you that gets broken, especially when I grew up here. And I grew up in the most beautiful blackest city in the country where you don't let anybody tell you you're less than or humiliate you solely based on your faith or your ethnicity. And as a United States Congresswoman, I could not do that to my grandmother. And what, I, what, I, what I tell Rashida all the time is that you don't ever allow people to enjoy your tears. She says, stop, stop giving your tears. I say That's that all the time. There are so many people invested in our pain, in our struggle, in seeing us broken. Seeing and, us bow down. And the one thing that is important to me more than anything as we fight for the most marginalized people is that we have our internal liberation carry us to external liberation. And there is no way... No, I told Rashida, before you send that letter, you should have called me. <laughs> there is no way, there is no way that we are ever, ever going to allow people to tear us down, to see us cry, not, you know, out of pain, to ever make us feel like our certificate is less than theirs. So we are going to hold our head up high. And we are going to fight this administration and the oppressive Netanyahu administration until we take our last breath.